If I ask you who invented the light bulb, you would probably say Thomas Edison, I imagine. But if you ask Keith, well obviously he's going to tell you it was a fellow of the Royal Society and probably someone from the northeast of England knowing you. Of course. The light bulb is no exception. Who are we talking about? What's the object? We're talking about Sir Joseph Swan, inventor of the light bulb. Joseph Swan, inventor <laughs> of the light bulb. You're going to upset some people here. You're going to have to justify this claim. Actually, yes. I mean, quite a few people invented the light bulb as it happens. But um, Swan is a, is a local boy to me. And um, we have a, a specimen of, of one of his here. We don't know when exactly this was made. Swan demonstrated these in 1877. So there was a, um, a kind of resurgence in the northeast of the, you know, electric lighting as, as a distinct possibility to light people's homes and factories and so on. And people like Charles Parsons were producing turbo generator sets that generate electricity. And therefore, the, the time was right to put a light bulb on the end of it. People hated it. <laughs> they, they really didn't like light bulbs because they thought they showed all the cobwebs in the house, they were too bright, everybody loved the gas lights that they had. All right. However, they eventually would catch on. They did catch on. They, yeah. went, they went big actually, didn't they? Did, they? Yeah, they did quite big. Did he do pretty much the same thing as Edison? Does it work the same way? Has he used a different technique? Yeah, or? I mean most of them use, use carbon filaments within a vacuum tube and if you run some electricity through them they, they will light up. Swan did something else which was quite remarkable for the period though when it came to electric lights. He changed the language. You presumably have Christmas in Australia, Brady? Yes, we've heard of it. What do you hang on your Christmas trees? Uh, well... Lights, maybe? Christmas lights, yeah. Yeah, you did you call them fairy lights? Yes, we did call them fairy did, lights. Yeah, that's because of Sir Joseph Swan. He was given the job of electric lighting a theatre, Savoy Theatre in London. They were doing a production which involved fairies on stage. So he produced little light bulbs to, to go on the top of their wands. And hey presto, he invented fairy lights. There you go, the father of fairy lights. Yeah. <laughs> The first incandescent electric lamp, this was made in 1877, circa, by Sir, although he was then only a mister, Joseph Wilson Swan. This isn't like the first one, this is just one of that era. Yeah. I wonder if this one would still work, like if you put electricity through it. It'd be interesting to find out, wouldn't it? Um, it was donated to us, unfortunately, without the key to the case. You can see it's a hinged case, so we'll have to get a, a locksmith on the job to uh, just fiddle around with that and see if we can open it. There's no key. There's no key, no. <laughs> it's not like those treasure trunks where there's like a secret button. No, I don't think so, no. So, Keith, you've got more light bulbs for us, have you? We do. We do. Let me get them for you. Get the box. Don't be deceived by this box, people. But this just happens to be the box it came in. So I'm just going to take two bulbs out of this little set. These are very simple things, as you can see. They're hand-blown glass, so you have this little wedge on the end where the glass has been snapped off. And you might just be able to see there are some labels on these ones and some little printed stamps too. Now these date from the 1890s, so they're pretty early ones, and you might just be able to read that. Can you can, can I read Can that? I hold one, Keith? Yes, do. It's probably clearer on the pink one here. Can you read that? It says, the Edison Swan. That's right. So Joseph Swan's company merged with Thomas Edison's and they pretty much sewed up the market for these things. And you can see the name then merged to become a trademark, Ediswan. Ediswan. Like I was joking at the start a bit at your expense as if to say that Swan wasn't really the inventor of the light bulb and it was Edison. But these two were, they, they mm. were together. They were the big dudes. Yeah, yeah, they, they were, yeah. All right. These are quite like ornate. They're like almost like novelty. Mm -hmm. Well, they were. And you could find a Swan Edison Company printed catalogue, the various types of light bulbs that they made, and there were hundreds of them. You could order by the individual number, even in the 1890s. So you might just see there's a tag on that one. I can see 725. Number 725. And if you ordered that from the company, you would get one of those green light bulbs. One of the only things that sort of gives these away as being a little bit older are the, are the tops there. Has that been done by hand or would, this yeah, be, would they be made by a machine? Or? They would have been hand blown probably. And um, the, the fittings at the end are quite rudimentary as well. You've got a, a kind of a plaster mounting on there. Here we go. Early light bulbs and yet another great man from the northeast of England. Indeed. And we got through another video with fragile objects without me dropping them. And cool. we're clear. Yeah. <laughs>
How does this book rank among your Newton documents? Is this like your go-to place if you need something, you need to do some research? Yes, I mean, if, if you need imagery to do with Isaac Newton, it's all here in one place. It's rather fantastic. Someone has already done the work for us and uh, done it in this rather fabulous uh, and very expensive style. This is just full of gems and we're just whizzing through it. And the reason we're whizzing through it is because we want to show you another book like this, this time dedicated to Joseph Priestley. Big deal in lots of ways. Let's get the Priestley volume.